Well, as of this week, there are four people in the running to lead the provincial Liberals. Mississauga Mayor, Mayor uh, Bonnie Crombie launched her bid yesterday, joining MP Nate Erskine-Smith, MP and former Ontario Cabinet Minister Yasser Nakvi, and current provincial caucus member and former MP Ted Shu. The Ontario Liberals are set to vote for their new leader through ranked ballots in late November, with the results to be unveiled on December 2nd. Well, for more on how things are looking so far, we are joined by George Smitherman, former Deputy Premier of Ontario. It's nice to have you in studio. Great to see you. So before we talk about some of these um, people who are running to be the leader, let's talk about the party and, and how important this leadership race is. We're coming off, or the Liberals are coming off of two devastating elections. Um, lost a lot of confidence from the people of Ontario. Talk about how important this next person will be in that role and what they really need to do to re revitalize the party and gain the trust of Ontarians again. Uh, well, I think it's, you know, uh, the Liberal Party hasn't had an actual leader in the legislature for quite a while because Del Duca, for the whole time that he was the leader, wasn't there. So obviously, you know, that's a test of uh, getting back uh, uh, getting back on top in a certain sense. But I think that the leadership race has got a lot of Liberals really, really, really motivated. I think in a certain sense, it's not aligned with where the party is at in terms of the number of seats in the legislature the enthusiasm that's there in the party. As contrast to the NDP that only had one candidate for their leadership, notwithstanding that they have quite a few seats in the legislature, mm -hmm. uh, the Liberals are enjoying not just quite a few candidates, but some really, really good candidates with different perspectives and uh, different experiences to bring to the fore. You know, we're seeing um, how name recognition, uh, recognition can carry a lot of weight in the Toronto mayoral candidates uh, with Olivia Chow come entering into the race. And now you've got uh, Bonnie Crombie, who is officially entered into the race, uh, and her name carries a lot of weight, especially in the western part of the city, and how important, you know, does that name recognition, is that going to be for her, and, and what's your take on her entering the race? Well, I have name recognition too, but she's got the whole meal deal there, which is she's a sitting mayor of one of the larger cities. She's filled a void after Hazel McCallion that a lot of people would have predicted is a difficult thing to do. She's been a member of parliament. She seems to be quite on top of her game. And I think most importantly, she gets into Doug Ford's head. And I think that that really is an advantageous aspect. Her name recognition is obviously part of that, but I think she's well-defined beyond name alone, and a lot of it's very positive. Well, I, I brought that up because, you know, maybe for a lot of the other candidates, uh, they might be known in their writing, whether it's uh, Nate Erskine-Smith uh, or Ted Shu, but, uh, you know, to a lot of people in, in the province that they're they might not really know who they are. Um, let's talk about some of, our, some of the other candidates and what your thoughts are on them. Well, I mean, Yasser Nakvi, who's a member of parliament at the moment for Ottawa Centre, served as an MPP for Ottawa Centre and was the Attorney General of Ontario. He's got a very dynamic campaign going on. He had a very successful Ottawa and Mississauga launch a Saturday or two ago. And I think that he should be expected to create really quite a dynamic organization province-wide. Nate Erskine-Smith, who's an MP at the moment, mm -hmm. also three of these four candidates, because Ted Hugh, was, Shu rather, was also a member of Parliament, have that experience uh, to boot. Uh, Nate Erskine-Smith is a uh, hard worker, and he's a very, very dynamic policy thinker, and he's going to contribute a lot of energy. He's been working the province vigorously, and so has Ted Shu. So this is all good news for the Liberals, is that you've got these four energized campaigns, each of which will be seeking to bring more Liberals back to the involvement in the party and to bring new people into the party. Are you surprised to see so many MPs making the switch or trying to make the switch to provincial politics? Oh, um, you know, I think that uh, two of them, Bonnie Crombie and uh, Ted, have been MPs in the past, and uh, uh, you've got these uh, two others. Uh, it's surprising in a certain way, but uh, people that uh, have an interest in serving look for the opportunity to serve that out at the fullest. And I think for Yasser Nakfi, as someone who spent a lot of time, was the president of the Ontario Liberal Party for many years, that he finds the Ontario Liberal Party to be quite a natural base. But uh, some people uh, would say, hey, like you've got a good, uh, good situation there, but uh, seeks to bring, uh, you know, bring even more of that dynamism to the broader province of Ontario. I'm curious if you think there's going to be, I mean, we're still very early uh, in the game here and there could be a lot more people entering the race. Is there anyone that you think might be uh, tempted to, to enter and, you know, leading up to, uh, you know, the, the leadership race? I, I mean, how do you think 
things might play out. I know it's still well, early, but... Yeah, well, the MPP for uh, Don Valley West, who replaced uh, Kathleen Wynne, was uh, uh, Stephanie Bowman was expected, or some people were expecting that she might run. Mm -hmm. uh, she was there last night nominating Bonnie Crombie, so that was noteworthy. And definitely the MPP for uh, Don Valley East, Dr. Adil Shamji, mm -hmm. is uh, certainly, uh, certainly taking a look at it. And with uh, Ford closing emergency rooms all over the place, uh, it's certainly that healthcare issues are going to be one of those that dominates the campaign. George Smitherman, we appreciate your time. Thanks for coming My to the pleasure. studio.